Hi, my name's Will. I'm 34 and I'm from Norwich in Norfolk. Uh, I started the traineeship back in uh, early 2020, basically because I had a base understanding and quite a big interest in computers. I've always built my own and I figured why not take that a little bit further. My job before was a restaurant manager, which obviously didn't pan out in the pandemic. I got made redundant and so that kind of kick-started my search for something a little bit more. Currently working for a little company called Onyx, who run small business IT across Suffolk and Norfolk. Um, they have been massively beneficial for me. It's been, it's been great for me, to be honest, because uh, I've learned so, so much since I started with them. Uh, they don't operate your standard sort of first and second line support system, which um, is a little bit out of the ordinary. You don't often find it, but I find it hugely beneficial insofar as if I hit a problem I can't hit, I don't just I don't just pass that problem on. It uh, I get to stay with it, and even if I can't fix it, someone will come in and show me how. And they'll I mean they may end up doing it for me, but they will leave me there not knowing how it was fixed. They'll show me. They'll tell me why, and um, for that reason, and I think that reason alone, I've progressed massively. I mean, I couldn't tell you any one thing that I've learned since I've started. It is, there isn't a day that I don't learn something new. Um, the traineeship was definitely a good way to get my foot in the door. Um, without it, I don't quite know what I would have done. I mean, I'm... I don't know how I would have expanded my knowledge enough to have got my foot through the door. Uh, the, the, the assistance in finding a job afterwards was definitely key um, to helping me get started. And the, um, the way in which the courses are taught, especially after the, uh, the initial the, after doing the initial courses, the live labs are massively helpful. My usual morning routine involves checking over the ticket system for any monitoring alerts that have come in overnight, such as failed backups or down servers or devices. Uh, then I will uh, check for any correspondence to any long-standing jobs that I have in my queue and then follow up with uh, a check with the team to see if there's uh, anything that needs to have my attention before I move on to uh, the rest of my day. This is all usually followed by a uh, brief sort of 10 minute meeting just to catch up with the rest of the team and see if there's any help needed anywhere else. As you can probably tell with the setup behind me, um, I do the vast majority of my work from home. We do go into the office every now and again, uh, but most of the time we don't really need to go unless there's a need for hands-on hardware. Um, anything that gets taken back to head office, that's when we get to go work on, uh, uh, work on, for example, uh, broken laptops, that sort of thing. But for the most part, uh, we have everything we need uh, on our laptops and we can uh, remote onto most client devices and help them out from home. And there's the office. It's not much, but it's mine. Got the teams on the left, tickets in the middle, and my phone on the right. And I love it. It's 7.55 in the morning, and I have just helped bring some service back online that came up, uh, went down overnight. Um, it was a pretty all hands on deck moment with quite a lot of the team getting involved as, um, probably imagine so back to work right it is 10 o'clock in the morning and I've spent the vast majority of this morning uh, rebuilding a device for a client and um, their machine had been blue screening um, so we've taken it to the office and got it all plugged in so I can remote onto it and I have been rebuilding his profile and repairing drivers and all sorts so hopefully now I'm leaving it in a testing phase so I'm going to see whether it does what it was doing before and uh, 
see if I've actually managed to fix it. Fingers crossed. So uh, it is coming on 11 o'clock now. I'm just taking a quick five minute breather to get some fresh air. Um, aside from the two major problems I fixed this morning, um, I've also managed to get a couple of people sorted out on printers. Um, I've altered some conditional access to allow access to emails from abroad for one of our clients. Um, and some other bits and bobs, password resets, that sort of thing, all just kind of sprinkled in between the major jobs of the day. So uh, I'm gonna go and make myself a coffee and get back to work. So it's a little bit for uh, four o'clock in the afternoon and I have just gone off the phone with one of our customers uh, fixing a uh, macro issue that we've seen in 365. Um, pretty chuffed because I went in not knowing a great deal about macros but I feel like I've learned quite a lot and we got it fixed quite swiftly actually so pretty chuffed. <laughs> 